and good evening good evening from uh, USA and good morning uh, Cambodia good today um, today our broadcasting program the Buddha Buddha Sasana program of CBMA the Cambodian Buddhist Monk Society comes and uh, come on show again on the right time to discuss about the New Year celebrations of uh, about the Cambodian New Year celebration. And uh, here we are, uh, we have uh, two distinguished, uh, distinguished speakers, one from um, Minnesota, the Cambodian Buddhist Society in Minnesota, Venerable Damatero Chumbichet, the right about of um, Minnesota Buddhist, uh, Buddhist temple. And um, the second one, the most venerable Mangala Chuto Sungwuti from the Kemraram, the Cambodian uh, communities of um, San Jose, California. So uh, they will, uh, they will uh, introduce and um, discuss about uh, the Khmer New Year, the Cambodian New Year, that we'll broadcast uh, today. And actu actually today is not my turn that comes on the show that um, we'll talk about, uh, we, uh, <laughs> I am uh, not, not my duty to, to do a moderator, but Venerable Maniputo of TV was a little bit um, uh, busy the whole day. Then um, he requested me to to come instead, and we'll um, uh, generate this program and still all the question um, to our uh, most speakers to explain. So today, that as we um, have a topic on the our. Uh, page, we will discuss about the Khmer New Year, and I will give some uh, questions to our distinguished uh, distinguished uh, speakers, and also the audience can also uh, deliver the questions by um, um, asking uh, by writing on the Facebook and YouTube page that um, our. Um, yeah, our operator will uh, raise up that question and I will ask our uh, speaker also. So thank you very much for your attention and your watching now. So I will um, uh, uh, raise up the first question for our most uh, venerable and the most speakers about the new year. So the question is going to be, what is the Khmer New Year uh, festival? and how it is celebrated. So when they ball that material, please go ahead and uh, can you give um, some explanation uh, about the Khmer New Year, please. First of all, I would like to join my hand and pay homage to the Triple Gems, Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha, and to pay respect to all uh, uh, Maha Sangha uh, uh, around the globe and especially uh, both uh, Ponte uh, on the talk show with uh, today. Um, I also to um, would like to say happy Khmer New Year, the year of the ox, um, to both vulnerable and to all uh, audience listening and watching uh, right now. Um, term of uh, Khmer New Year, um, as uh, we are Cambodian people, we know uh, our New Year and the event celebrate celebration. Um, my New Year, it was uh, in previous on uh, January. Uh, we our uh, lunar calendar. Um, yeah. yeah, month the month of Mekse. So it's. Uh, so the same as time of the January, January uh, every year. Um, but later on, uh, our uh, ancestor changed from the January to uh, April. So uh, 
why it's uh, different from the uh, universal uh, new year yeah um okay uh, because um we are buddhist people we uh we practice uh, buddhist teaching buddha teaching and we follow a uh, lunar calendar so there are two uh, calendars calendars um using uh, around the globe um so just uh, followed by a, a lunar uh, system uh, uh, and a solar system or we can call lunar calendar uh, solar calendar as everybody use daily um because our uh, in the past and until today uh, because our cambodian people uh, they are farmer they are planter yeah they um were busy uh, with the their uh, their job with their, their daily work uh, as a farm uh, in the field um so our ancestor re refer or rely on those uh, uh, people activities or duty for like uh, for uh, act, uh, act, uh, i mean uh, for uh, cultivate yeah for cultivate uh, the farm um to, yeah 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 the farm do fulfill uh, yeah do uh, uh, due to uh, they are busy, they are, they are busy, uh, so uh, our ancestor change uh, schedule uh, to April uh, until today. So the new years even start from April 4, 14 to, uh, to, 13, uh, to 16. Um, but in the uh, United States and uh, in Western country, as uh, Cambodian people move to uh, uh, live and stay right now some states some uh, community uh, they uh, adjust uh, schedule because uh, some day some some year the new year uh, on april 14 to 16 it's come up on the weekday not in a, on the weekend so it they adjust from the weekday to the weekend like in minnesota we we extend it. Some years we will adjust from the weekday to the weekend, but this year we uh, extend from the uh, April 14, 16, and until uh, weekend 17 and 18 uh, will uh, end up for, for the New Year celebration. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you very much, the most venerable Damatero, about your explanations uh, how the uh, how I work my New Year. Uh, take a place and um, food up to the most venerable uh, Mangla Jyotar. Uh, how, how many days that uh, our Khmer New Year uh, will be celebrated and and can can you mention another name if we call in Cambodian language what is the Khmer New Year uh, called and uh, what 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 they are doing? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Pante. Um, I'm Janti. I think this is a really good question concerning our Cambodian New Year's, mostly we call Khmer New Year. Actually, the word Khmer New Year is um, traditional New Year for Cambodian people. And um, this New Year's usually fall on 13, 14, and 15 approach every year but uh, in some cases or some places like in the united states or abroad Khmer people who are buddhist they also celebrate this cambodian new year okay. and it takes time longer than in cambodia i think because yeah. uh, mostly like when well, when uh Richard said um it take time like a it extend the time from three to uh, four five six seven day yeah. especially it take uh, the time for celebrating this ceremony at the weekend mm. because most of people in abroad especially Khmer people they are busy with the job 
and they come only at a weekend when they have free time from job, right? And Khmer New Year is um, actually it is traditional uh, custom for Cambodian people. But this um, ceremony or festival is mostly performed at the temple of pagoda. You know, as our yeah. Cambodian people are Buddhist, we believe in Buddhism. That's why when we celebrate even our traditional New Year, we celebrate at the temple. It means they want to connect the tradition with Buddhism. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they also think that the, the pagoda or the temple has a big lands and easy to get a lot of people. And when people come to the temple, they can do many things, especially they play traditional game and so on. And they don't forget Buddhism, you know, they celebrate this traditional New Year's at the temple. They connect the ceremony with Buddhism. Actually, Khmer New Year is not included in Buddhist ceremony. It is a national oh. New Year, a traditional New Year for our people. But as our people are Buddhist, that's why they want to celebrate it at the temple of Pagoda. Because this place is a good place, big place for people to gather um, and meet each other. So harmonious way and loving kindness and peace together when they meet each other at the temple, they can exchange many new information about each other and so the solidarity of Cambodian people. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Van Rebor. Um, how, how many days that the uh, people uh, celebrate Khmer New Year actually? Um, mostly only three days. Three like days, said, uh, and the three days, the same day, same celebration, or did it have a different, uh, different name, different uh, activities, or uh, different rituals? So, can you explain okay. it? Yes, um, it, three days for official. Um, first day we call um, 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 Mahasangran. Mahasangran, Mah 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 yes, the first day. And then the second day we call Vara Wanabat. And the, the last day is called um, Vara Langsa. Yeah. That is the final day. And in this, uh, each day they also perform um, various ceremonies connected with Buddhism. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, thank, yeah, thank, thank you. I will come back to you again. Uh, yeah. uh, Venerable Damatero, um, I catch the word from Venerable Mangla Juto Singhati that um, Khmer New Year is not the Buddhist, Buddhist, Buddhist um, celebration. It is like, uh, uh, like a more traditional, more Khmer traditional than Buddhist, uh, Buddhist tradition. So can you explain uh, why uh, this with the uh, Khmer New Year and what they are going to do about this ritual in the uh, Khmer tradition uh, in the Khmer uh, New Year. Thank you for the question, uh, Venerable. Um, uh, as we um, dig down to the Khmer New Year, um, I would like to say all nations around the world they have uh, they are their own new year, yeah. their own celebration, their own tradition, their own culture, and thing and yeah, much and much more about their own. Uh, uh, and as uh, our Cambodian people, we have uh, our culture, we have our traditional related to the celebration, especially in a new year celebration. Uh, as we know, uh, like because uh, 
in the past, our country ruler, kings or government uh, and people in the nation, uh, we believe and practice in Hinduism. So some believe and some uh, traditional uh, took over and uh, brought in and carry out to, until today. Um, some dance like traditional dance like when people are asking uh, relate to the uh, our traditional. So they respect to the Lord, to the to the to the um, uh, what be, they believe in uh, in the past, like Hindu and Vishnu and uh, something like that. Uh, but I don't want to talk much about uh, the past uh, belief, I mean uh, Hinduism, because yeah. we already uh, practice in Buddhism. So, uh, my traditional uh, my New Year, much more related to the uh, uh, Buddhist ritual. I, I, I can say half and half, uh, but uh, my New Year celebration and other New Year other celebration is uh, traditional, not uh, uh, Buddhist uh, schedule or uh, Buddhist uh, uh, ritual. Like, uh, yeah, Shumban, Khmer yeah. Cambodian or Khmer New Year, and other uh, celebration. It's uh, the traditional uh, event, not, uh, uh, not religious uh, uh, ceremony. But we cannot, this this part uh, we cannot uh, separate it from each other because uh, why while we uh, celebrate the uh, new year um, we have something to follow uh, uh, with like ritual uh, uh, in the religion in the buddhism yeah. like of uh, food offering uh, uh ago, chanting or whatever so because they the purpose of the the celebration to support uh, our community, to support our Buddhist temple, and to maintain uh, Khmer traditional and cultures, um, to gathering all Khmer people on each corner together, and to uh, brought up as a old ancestor, I mean, uh, experience to share and to um, offer to and open up for the new generation uh, they are were living with. And uh, more the, uh, is uh, to get fully uh, pay back to our ancestor who passed away. That's, those things have to uh, like celebrate with the uh, offer uh, food, offer staff, uh, I mean, uh, fruit and uh, something else, what they have done and to what they believe in. And um, they have more, more, more than a, a, a celebration in uh, a, a Buddhism, but uh, like traditional, um, they have a popular game. Yeah, that's traditional popular game like throwing a uh, handkerchief game, um, handkerchief hidden uh, game, something like that. That's a uh, very popular and in the uh, this country in uh, abroad, um, lack of a leader to to guide or to lead the people and or the uh, people to to play while we celebrate the, the New Year each community. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you again for your explanation. So uh, as I catch your word that explain about the Khmer New Year is half and half with the Buddhist Buddhism and Cambodian uh, traditionally. So through through this perspective, so we can uh, now now we are going to discuss about uh, the Khmer New Year all the, uh, for these three days. So what we are going to do. So now. Uh, Venerable Dhamma Thera again. So the the first day that mentioned by uh, by Venerable um, uh, Mangalajyota about uh, Mahasangrana Day. So 
Mahasangrana day, that the first day of our Khmer New Year. So can, can you explain what we are going to do? The whole days of the first day. So what, what we are going, going to do uh, with, with, uh, with the beginning or with the, the first day of the New Year celebration? Thanks again for the question. Um, I, some I would like to say, but I, I, I would say before that, but because what we celebrate the new year, what is the new year. So I would like to uh, break down while uh, the new year come up, uh, the event. Um, but before that, all Cambodian people, we have to prepare and uh, decor, yeah, decorate uh, at the place they live wherever, no matter they, they live in, um, like at home, at apartment, at the workplace, or at the temple or community. So uh, they have to clean, they have to decorate, they prepare before the new year come up, two or three days. And so they, what they believe, why, why they're cleaning up before new year, why they don't clean all the day? Um, because they prepare for the new angel. They prepare for the Sankran coming. Come Sankran. So, uh, uh, I will, I, I will uh, answer the Sankran, what Sankran mean. Sankran yeah. mean uh, uh, the gap between uh, the, uh, the year, yeah. last year, Sagal, the, the year Sagal uh, come meet the, the new, uh, I mean, uh, around, and then uh, come up and start to catch up a new uh, uh, moment, new uh, uh, calendar. So okay. uh, that means in grand, that means a uh, gap between the new and the old started. Oh, I see. No, no, I mean uh, the old and the new started, the uh, yeah. time uh, run up. Okay, so some grants mean the, the gap between new year, uh, old year and new year, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, so, but we, we celebrate the first year, uh, the first day of the of the of the new year. So what we are going to do? Uh, just uh, clean and decor um, the house and everywhere the temple or uh, such a place as company or um, restaurant or hotel everywhere that and the, especially the country they will they will clean the countries and the whole um, land especially the building to decorate and and welcome the new angel so what is the special meanings of the new angel so can can you can you um, explain a little bit about what is the special of new angel welcoming the new angel they transfer yeah yeah for example in the term of the uh, government yeah term of government like prime minister or president they have term so they exchange the, 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 the they see they exchange the power, they exchange their, their work from one to another. So it's same thing to uh, exchange the, the angel from the, uh, of the uh, seven uh, daughters of uh, Kabul Mahaprama, of one to, uh, okay. to another one. Okay, thank you very much. I will come back to you later. Uh, when Roman Mangala Jyota, so the angel, as uh, when Rebodha Madero mentioned, seven daughters of Brahma. So why, why, seven, why seven angels? Why Brahma heads? As, as, as we know in Buddhism, Brahma no dead body, no, no remained body after death. So, so why? Why Brahma head? Why seven angels, please? Um, okay, thank you. Actually, as you have said just now, the Brahma has no um, children. Yes, <laughs> because yes. He no already Brahma, attained no the highest stage of uh, the highest stage of the Tamma. So after that, when he uh, when they reborn as a Brahma, they will have no children like that. But why most of uh, people believe that? There are seven daughter of the Brahma who take turns to exchange their duty works and power every year to take care of people in the universe like that. That is according to uh, belief of 
Brahmanism or Hinduism, like when when Richard said earlier. And this belief still influences Khmer culture up to now. But when we study Buddhism deep, uh, deeply, we can know that the Brahma has no daughter. <laughs> but uh, this seven daughter is like a, a represent for the seven day of the week, you know. <laughs> also, we can uh, say that. And also, this seven daughter is represent for the um, the great seven uh, noble property <laughs> we call Arayat Drop in Cambodian language. Yeah. It represents this kind of things. And um, from Buddhist culture, we don't have uh, the belief that uh, there are seven daughters of the deity that are children of the Brahma. But it is just a comparison, you know, from uh, and, and how, the how they can, yeah, yeah. aspect. How, how they like uh, when we have um, the seven kinds of um, properties or knowledge, we can uh, in brief say uh, it means that uh, it means that means satta means confidence or conviction. Yeah. Anyone who have conviction in the triple gems, they are called person who has. Uh, good or great um, or noble property in their life. Yeah. Yeah. And then sa si. Si means si la tanang. It means the property of morality. <laughs> so in the new year, if anyone who observe moral precepts, they really can be, become a good person and this morality is considered as a great or noble property in their lives during the new year, like that. Yeah. And he, he mean, he, he means we are shameful of doing bad deed. We are shameful to do bad action. Like we don't want to uh, steal other property, don't want to commit sexual misconduct or taking lives of living beings like that. We, we are shameful of this kind of action. That's why we avoid doing these things. When we avoid this, uh, doing these bad things, we will have like, a, our life is very auspicious and very happy in this life, even not only just this new year, but every existence like that. And altapa, al mean altapa. Altapa means um, afraid of doing bad deed, you know, afraid of doing bad deed. It means that why we are afraid of doing bad deed? The bad deed is compared to the, the heap of fires, you know, yeah. the heap of fire. When we take the heap of fires, we will burn our hands. So the bad deed or sin, bad action is comfort, uh, compared to the, the heat of the fire that is very uh, burning very heavily or strongly. So if someone put their hand into the fire, they will get the fire burn like that. And they will, be, they will uh, suffer from that fire. In the same things, if anyone commit bad deeds, their life will not be happy. <laughs> they will be very painful and suffer even the new year, you know, even in the new year. That's why uh, we need to uh, avoid this heri uh, and not the pa. Uh, and then uh, pa min panya tenang. Panya tenang min um, the property of wisdom like that. So when anyone has um, wisdom, you know, their life can be uh, prosperous because they can use their wisdom to overcome many difficult things in their life and solve many problems in their life like that. Yeah. 
saksi hi also capak um, and then so uh, so you know so means sutta in Pali language we call sutta listening <laughs> yeah I forget this one so yeah listening mean when we listen to the discourse of the Buddha or to any lecture in Buddhism or in the, the teaching of any teacher by listening to those things we also can gain wisdom like that and when we have wisdom as i said we can use our wisdom uh, to to solve many problems in our lives and pre problems suffering in the round of rebirth because of our wisdom like that especially inside wisdom according to buddhism thank you Thank you very much for the most wonderful uh, about the seven days and seven angels. So seven angels represent the seven day and each day has uh, the, uh, has its quality, right? So the yeah. qualities are practice that you mentioned about the Ariyatana. It means yeah. the seven great noble uh, sure. uh, property or treasure that, yeah. that everyone love it and and, and uh, intend to have and and need all of these uh, properties or treasure. But venerable that material again for you, why daughter? Why not? Why why not sons? <laughs> why why just daughter? And 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 why Brahma head? Please. Um. Thank you. Um. The term to the um, the daughter uh, why Brahma Mahabrahma uh, um, Kabal Mahabrahma uh, doesn't have son have only daughter yeah um, and some people they they concern uh, they have a question about um, after the Kabal Mahabrahma. Uh, lost uh, uh, bit, yeah, lost bit, uh, lost uh, um, uh, in the story um, and uh, the competition. Yeah, in the, um, only a uh, seven daughter um, have um, his hand and have uh, traditional uh, of the story uh, um, and. Some people they ask those uh, daughter or those uh, angel um, they will never get married or uh, they don't have and uh, the new generation to have uh, their uh, family there. <laughs> um, yeah, um, of a couple Mahapro. Um, so um, at that point, uh, all. Uh, Daughter, um, like uh, whatever uh, what he said, uh, only uh, daughter to represent the seven day of the schedule in the calendar, uh, no matter uh, lunar calendar or solar calendar, because uh, they from the hour to day, day and week, week and uh, month and then a year. Though, um, at the point, uh, I would I, <laughs> I don't want to 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 answer with uh, without the proof. So, I think I uh, I need the help from uh, variable uh, sympathy to fill up the uh, the question why is daughter. But uh, I never seen I never found uh, uh, any uh, document show. Um, about the specific of the the, the family or the the Kabal Mahaprama has only a, a daughter, no son, and no nobody else beside of seven of them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Venerable uh, Vijay. You know, even in a uh, human world, not um, all husband and wife have only. Uh, son and daughters, but you know some family they have only daughter, no son. Uh, yeah. Some family they have only 
son, not daughter, like uh, my cousin, you know, he have five children, but all five are son, not daughter. <laughs> but, I agree uh, with that point, but uh, they still extend their family, like they get married another family, and so they get yeah. new generation to hold up their family. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But uh, for so me, the, I, I think that so is then, a by accident the term daughter, the, the term daughter is uh, translated from the Pali word that we use, or the Cambodian word that the Cambodian word is about the stray or the in uh, the, the Pali word about the FT. So it is it is represent why Dora mean. Okay. Can you uh, indicate it? Open up that again, please. I forget. Yeah, the, um, it's okay. Yeah, the term the term Dora, why not sons? Because, you know, in, in, in our tradition, yeah, that yeah. we respect the women. We respect yeah. the women. And also the term women in Cambodian language, Satrai, it means the, the prosperity of pleasure that bring pleasure to the world, bring uh, the, um, the rules and the uh, smoothy irrigate a uh, smoothy infrastructure of the country because of the women because we start from uh, we start our country with the women leader so that's why we we always uh, indicate the women in the first position and this this women also uh, represent the day that that we are living only seven days no eight days right yeah from <laughs> from Sunday to uh, Saturday. So it is only seven days, no more than seven days. And the day never change. The day never gets connected to others. So the day only, yeah, the one week only seven days and only 30 days a month and 365 day or 50 week, uh, 52 week is a year. So it is how, how, how we def, uh, how we define the the daughter of the Brahma the Brahma that uh, can bear can bear the Brahma head so this seven day with the Brahma the Brahma head because uh, as as you mentioned the seven daughter or seven qualities of the daughter like confident morality shameful fearful charity listening and wisdom all of this if the people all the people, all the inhabitants bear or respect this seven day, seven quality. So that means they respect and they bear, they protect the Brahma head. So now the term Brahma head, I, I can turn again to the Venerable Dhammatero, the Brahma head represent to the Brahma. So what they represent and, and, and why Brahma head? Why not uh, Indra head? Why not Shiva head? Why not uh, Vishnu head? And why not other gods have? Why Brahma has? Please. Okay, before I answer the question, uh, so why uh, daughter or why Satra? So that's why we uh, celebrate uh, for three day uh, even of the New Year celebration. So we, it's Satra or uh, daughters relate to the Serai. So we celebrate and uh, we um, get. Uh, Blessing for Serai. Yes. Yeah, so three Serai mean, uh, yeah, it's mean uh, related to Kabbal Mahaprama and uh, uh, his daughter. So Serai means Serai. So, uh, and uh, the, the lead, the lead of the world, the mother of the world, and uh, yeah. the mother of the, mother of the son, ma mother of the, the kid, the children, mother of the, the, the country, and mother of the world. And, um, yeah. Yeah, and that, that means Serai. Serai. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. And, and uh, Brahmanya, uh, Maha Kabal, um, Kabal Maha Brahma, um, that represents for uh, Brahma Vihara, Vihara, yeah, Brahma Vihara, uh, Metta Karuna Mudita Upeta, something like loving kindness, compassion, uh, uh, compassionate, uh, compassion, and uh, Joy and uh, neutral or something. You can fill up with the. They use a different word of the uh, uh, Brahma Vihara. 
Yeah, that's a uh, represent for Brahma Bharat because uh, only Maha Kabal Maha Prom or not uh, Vishnu and somebody else or some uh, some other Lord what they believe in the past uh, represent for that. Okay, thank uh, thank you very much. So you mean Brahma represent uh, the Brahma Vihara, Brahma Vihara. So Brahma Vihara means the sublime livings of, yeah, sublime sublime livings of uh, the, the 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 being who develop jhana or absorption and to become absolute uh, beings in the Brahma world. So Brahma Vihara, that as uh, as you mentioned about uh, contain there are four sub, uh, sublime state, four sublime uh, dhamma. That, that you 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 mentioned about meta, karuna, mutita, and, and upeka. And venerable Mangrachoda, seven dollars bearing the four the yeah. Brahma Vihara. Yeah. So can can you compare and make a point, a specific point? Why pe why the Cambodian people or other people who celebrate the same ritual, the same celebration of New Year, respect seven Dora and uh, with uh, Brahma. Okay, thank you. Um, as we have already known, you know, past our country was influenced by Brahmanism, and they even believed that the seven deities are the daughter of the Brahma. So in Brahmanism, they believe that Brahma is the, the main god in their religion, you know. Yes. And they respect the, the Brahma and also his daughter. But the Brahmas in Buddhist perspectives, we have different interpretation. Brahma here refer to uh, the four sublime state, you know, yeah. and if we see the image, they say they build the Brahma's image with the four faces. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and difficult to sleep when only one have four <laughs> faces. But we believe in Buddhism, so we interpret that the four faces of the Brahma refer to the four sublime state. It means um, loving kindness, metta, and compassion, karuna, appreciated joys, mutita, and equanimity of beka. Yeah. These four sublime states are very powerful, you know. Mm -hmm. If yeah. the world don't hold, this four sublime states it will be destroyed for the whole world. So yes. in Brahmanism they said the head of the Brahmas uh, are also uh, is also very powerful. If the daughter, the seven daughter don't take turn to hold the head of the Brahmas every year, if the head of the Brahma fall into the ocean it will dry up, you know. If okay. uh, the heads of the Brahma fall to the ground, it uh, like it's burned like that. And if the heads of the Brahma throw into the skies, it will have no rain like that. <laughs> so it's very powerful. Okay. These things, according to Buddhism, we believe that the four Satnam states are very important and very powerful for human beings in the world. If human beings in the world do not have the four sublime states like uh, loving kindness, compassion, appreciate, uh, appreciated joys, and um, economy, yeah. the world will have a lot of problems. They will have uh, it will has no peace and harmony and happiness, you know, because the light of the four sublime state. So, yeah, both 
the Buddha, the leaders, the teachers, the mothers, they need to have this four sublime state, you know, because this four sublime state is like a, a cool place uh, of the other people to sort of under it, you know. If uh, the leader don't have the four sublime state, Brahma Vihara, the subject or other people who are under him will be trouble, you know. Okay. That's fine. These four sublime states are very important according to Buddhism. And if we don't have the four sublime state, it's like the world is burning, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you. I okay, just... thank you very much for that uh, very messed up question that <laughs> I read about the Savantaras uh, and Brahma because um, if, if we say about the first days of, the, uh, of our new year, so we welcome the new angels that represent the day, uh, the seven day, like uh, uh, both of you mentioned, and uh, Brahma has that all the people, especially our um, um, our uh, inhabitants who uh, traditionally celebrate the new year on uh, April. So this is very important, as you mentioned, if there is no Brahma Vihara, it means no uh, sublime state or the, the full, full sublime about in your house, in your community, in your school or in your country or in the world so the world will be burnt the world will be destroyed why because if for example if parents has no loving kindness has no metta so how children how children come to existence how children can be brought up so yeah. if there are if there is no loving kindness no no chair yeah. Because they, they have their love to yeah. produce the children. So that's why the children, children should respect the father or the parents. And like Karuna, Karuna, compassionate thinking, compassionate, compassionate mind, if there is no compassionate, if there, was, there is no compassionate, so people not have each other. If we see other, sub, uh, see other people, uh, suffer because of uh, poverty, su suffer, especially now, suffer because of COVID-19. If there is no karma, no compassion, there is no help, there is no end, there is no, no um, human, uh, no charity, right? No charity, no jacket, the one of the day in seven day. And if there is no mudita, Murita means joyfulness or emphasis joy. It means if there is no, no mudita, so in the world will full of fear, will full of, um, of enemies and will destroy by, um, by uh, jealousy. So that's why we need mudita. And equanimity, we have to respect the rule, the laws of the country, the laws of the, of the world. So, fourfold sublime about, or we call Brahma Vihara, it is very important. And this Brahma Vihara, we have to respect, we have to hold every day, seven day, right? Seven day, so every day from uh, Saturday, Man uh, from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you miss only one day, the world also will destroy because the Brahma head down to the ground and the world will be destroyed. So thank you very much. Uh, our board venerable mentions about uh, Sobentora and Brahma because it is the first day. So venerable uh, Dhammatero, the first day again. So what we are going to do about the uh, Buddhist celebration? So what what they are going going to do in the temple uh, about about celebration out, out of welcoming the new angel. So something to do, uh, Buddhist, uh, Buddhist practice or Buddhist ritual or Buddhist ceremony in the temple? When the schedule come up on the first day of the new year even, uh, we call Mahasankarana day. 
Yeah. Yes, grand. So Buddhist or religious ceremony, um, people uh, bring their food to come to the temple with the family, with their kids, and to offer food to the Buddhist monk, and they get blessing, and we call bangsuko chanting. Mm -hmm. uh, Bangs go chanting, and the purpose of the the chanting, the purpose of the offering food uh, to the Buddhist monk, they um, number one, they uh, they made it, uh, they they cultivate merit for themselves. Yeah, as a uh, human being, a good human being. Uh, number two is they dedicate the merit to their ancestor who passed away. Uh, they can uh, dedicate uh, by name or by uh, uh, general. Yeah, by, we, we call uh, uh, um, meta, psi meta, something uh, that in uh, in uh, Khmer language. Mm -hmm. And uh, beside that, they can uh, share or uh, offer the food to other people, not just Buddhist man other people or their, their relatives mm -hmm. living close by uh, the, or the same community. Uh, and other thing they can, um, with, within the offering, they can uh, offering um, um, bowl, yeah, um, bowl offering. They can uh, um, listening uh, the Buddhist monk talking or give a Dharma talk, a sermon. Um, they make a uh, sand uh, shrine and stupa, sand uh, sand stupa. Uh, a small one like hill, yeah, hill, hill sand, something like that. Every uh, temple, every uh, on the new year, even they make that. Some um, some temple or some uh, place they uh, not just only send a uh, stupa, they make a uh, rice, a, a, a pile of rice. Yeah, they're piling the rice, and yeah. when they finish the New Year one, so that right for uh, Buddhist monk, cook for Buddhist monk, and for the people living in the temple or in their community. So, this is a good idea for. Um, uh, uh, for our ancestor to uh, to taught us, yeah, to taught uh, to to give us and uh, the, the guideline to follow up the, the old traditional and other thing they so this is the religious ceremony, but uh, within uh, the same time people come together to uh, play popular game like by and uh, like I said. Uh, 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 handkerchief or scarf or hidden, uh, hidden uh, game or uh, 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 throwing uh, handkerchief a game uh, and uh, uh, playing with the age uh, set up for the kid or uh, for the people to make more fun, uh, some fun and some enjoy. Uh, and uh, another game, the meaningful in the in the in the daily life of the. Uh, on the community, um, in our communities, for justice, like uh, uh, whisper, whisper to the king, to the, to the, um, I don't know how to call the moderator or the, the people stand in the in the middle and uh, uh, compete at both sides and they come up to say mm -hmm. something, to wish something to him, and then depend on him, and uh, if he. Uh, uh, he hold up uh, the uh, the justice for both sides. I mean, I mean, uh, if you make fair deal, the fair deal not uh, in in not in justice, uh, something like that. So okay. that mean relate to the meaning, uh, the meaning of the justice uh, for uh, society, uh, no matter uh, in Cambodia or in here. Um, yeah, more uh, more than a lot of game and. Uh, dancing for depend on the temple, uh, depend on the event where they celebrate and community where they come up because some community is small, some is a uh, large or big community pop, I mean a uh, population. So they have their own uh, group of the dancing, traditional dancing, and they have their own uh, 
group for the playing game as a um, art or something uh, in uh, in uh, in the event for the first day. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, when it was uh, um, that explained about the first day after uh, after our uh, Khmer New Year, um, in uh, specific about the Buddhist tradition that we um, celebrate, like you mentioned, if during the day, uh, in the morning and the day. So the people will bring the food for the monks, for it, uh, we, we can call it arms offering, or the we putting arm into the into the arms bowl of the monk, or they have poor people, they share their food to each other, and they enjoy together by playing uh, our traditional games. Traditional game is not gambling in casino or, <laughs> or, or a wrongdoing, but the gambling is just only traditionally that you mentioned about uh, each game has uh, represent something like uh, the game you, you said about uh, justice, to represent justice, some game represent the prosperity of our culture tradition, and some game represent to the uh, unit, uh, uni uh, uni uh, united, that uh, unites the people, come uh, to people, and some game represent, represent anything, uh, many things in our uh, tradition. So many games, as we, um, as I remember, there is one book written by our Cambodian uh, scholar. So there are 22 kinds of uh, traditional games that represent uh, many things and traditionally very. So thank you very much for your sharing uh, about the first day of uh, celebration. Turn uh, to Venerable Mark the, the, the second day. So you said the second day is what we are one about in Cambodian language or whatever. So we are one about this, the second days of the New Year. So what we are going to do? You know, uh, there are many uh, Buddhist ceremony in the first, the second, and the third day of the Cambodian New Year. Uh, just now, Venerable Chumi just uh, have mentioned some points, but I want to eat. Uh, I want to add some more points. And, you yeah. know, ac according to Cambodian New Year at my temple, the first day we offer food to the monks and help uh, and health forest row presentation ceremony, and then uh, pay homage to the triple gems, observe five precepts, give arms, offer food to the monk, and dedicate merit to the departed ones who were our fountainheads and relative in seven generation, and also invite a preacher to give a sermon on Cambodian New Year. And for the second day, it's not so different from the first day, you know. Yeah. Um, the second day, uh, the schedule is the same on the, the first day. But for the last day, we call Vara Langsa. Uh, in the morning, the schedule is as on um, each other. But, you know, for... Um, evening times, um, they, they break up the sand mound and assemble as Jalamani Chetiya to no more sand. I mean, the first day they start to also to build the sand mound, you know, and on the last day they start to break up the sand mound and assemble as a Jalamani Chetiya to no more sand, not as a Jalamani Chetiya anymore. And so, monks. Recite the Yanto, I mean, the Dhamma is usually uh, used to give blessing to the audience. And then they venerate and ask for forgiveness in front of the Buddha statue and bathe the Buddha statue. And the elder laymen, lay women, the bathing, uh, the, the bathing is the last ceremony to completely end the New Year ceremony, you know. So these three days, the activity concerned with Buddhist ceremony is not so different from each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you that uh, you mentioned. So these three days, the schedules come the same, but uh, adding to some point only. When about Amatero, do you want to add to the second day? So second day that we call Viravan about is the blind day, uh, the, the blind day. 
so the gap between um, uh, old and new day, old days and new days. So uh, second day is the blind day. So do you want to add? So what what people, the Buddhist people or our people, going to do uh, uh, on the second day? Die um, of uh, schedule. As, yeah, as we know, um, first day and second day are not different. Uh, uh, Buddhist uh, ritual or uh, uh, religious ceremony uh, like, like a routine schedule the same uh, from the morning until uh, late day and uh, and uh, traditional they traditional they they keep uh, and maintain a, a playing a popular game uh, not only the temple. Um, in my home, uh, homeland, in my home district, uh, they play in the village. Yeah, and, okay. and uh, yeah, and where where they can gathering together and uh, people um, enjoy for whole day, even uh, first day and uh, second day of the uh, even uh, New Year celebration. The the, the special uh, one is only uh, last day on the. Th the third day, like when they fall. Oh, um, I, I just catch uh, in the second day first. Um, as my in my village, specifically in my village, my temple where that that I was be, uh, it's like uh, over twenty years already. So even now, they will they, they still have that uh, tradition. On the second day, the people or especially the children will best their their parents and their, uh, the old people. The old people will be basing, so they they watch their parents, they watch their grandparents, and the old people in the village, and get uh, asking uh, forgiveness and a blessing from the old people. So, uh, how how about uh, your your areas, uh, your province or, or village? That's very uh, that very yeah, very uh, that, I mean uh, different uh, from your mind. That's why you know I don't say I don't I, I never experienced with that, uh, but. And that uh, game or that uh, uh, schedule uh, is come on the last day. The, the, oh, I see. Yeah, the third day. The third day because after the bathing, the Buddha sets you in the temple and they come back home. They invite elder people in the village come together one at the one place, like four, five, or 50 people together. And the, the, the kid, all kid, as of for forgiveness and they get they get ready for water enough for elder people who are they invite they, hold, they, they invite come together and they offer uh, like chai buon they offer like um, food uh, clothes um, something to use daily and uh, medicine uh, whatever to those elder to those their parents yeah, okay. on the third day, not second day in my oh. my homeland. Okay, yeah. thank, thank thank you for 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 that explanation. So, Venerable uh, Mangala uh, it, it's uh, actually in our Khmer New Year. So, second day and third day, whatever which uh, which day, I, I I'm not sure about your uh, place and your uh, village or province. So, bathing uh, the old people, asking their uh, forgiveness or get blessing, and then be going to the temple. Um, bathing the Buddha statue and also wash the monk or uh, bring monk bathing. So these three, these three step or three um, rituals. So it is uh, popular in your area also. Yes, of course. Um, concerning this point, I have written an article about belief in bathing uh, the. Buddha statue, monks, and parents on the occasion of Cambodian oh, New Year. Yeah. You know, the belief in blessing the Buddha statue and his disciple is related to uh, one sutta called Maha Sangrana Sutta, which was written by former Khmer teachers in the 5th and 6th century. This concept should be widely accepted by Buddhists. It is said that King Pasenati Kausala invited the Buddha and his monk disciple to take a bath in a river to have meal and then have the meal. Then the king asked the Buddha about the consequences or benefit of bathing. 
The Buddha said to him thus, those who give a bath to their parents, their preceptor and their teachers, and observe moral precept and giving alms, for great king who protect the world will record the name of those who have done such kind of meritorious deed in the golden text, you know. Yeah. And if anyone <clears throat> does not do any good deed uh, or observe the moral precept or do not uh, follow the teaching of the Buddha and do not respect the Buddhist monk and commit, commit only evil deed, that kind of person um, <clears throat> will be recorded their name in the dog skins parchment, you know, <laughs> called which is like monk, yeah. Uh, and the benefit of giving a bath to monks, also mentioned in Popa uh, Jataka of uh, Panyasa Jataka story. Those who give a bath to monk will achieve considerable fame and immense wealth and also have attractive arms and legs and gold-like skin and also become a king of Delhi enjoying heavenly bliss 80 times and become a universal monarch of the four planes. And so we achieve four kinds of analytical inside knowledge, eight kinds of emancipation, perfection of disciple knowledge, enlightenment knowledge, and any one of the three state of the Buddha. And here it's uh, explained also uh, with uh, metaphor yeah. according to the teaching of the Buddha concerning this abetting uh, of the Buddha statue and parents and monks and so on. You know, if we analyze these things based on the concept in the doctrine or the Tama, the beliefs in bed, uh, bed thing is linked to the extension of gratitude to those who help us. On the surface, we see that betting the Buddha statue, parent, grandparent, elderly people, and monks can only clean their cool uh, and cools their physical body. You know, however, we have to remember that doing meritorious deeds, such as respecting parents, heeding their advice, feedings, and taking care of them during the old ages is the real deed that help cool our parents' thought or cool our parent heart. Mm -hmm. Not just bathing the water, you know, bathing water, just make his physical body cool for a short time. And the most important thing we need to follow our parent advice, follow the teaching of the Buddha and respect the monk. That is a kind of good deed that we need to do, you know, and it's considered as a real bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And um, um, also, if we do not give them a best, also it will be okay if we respect our parent advice, you know. Even though we don't, we don't bet the Buddha said to our parents, but we respect their advice, uh, do good deed for them, and follow the teaching of the Buddha. It will be good already, you know. And nonetheless, if we do not uh, do meritorious deed or never listen to our parents' advice, um, their minds, even if we took heavenly waters to bed them, it's still anxious, hearts, and full of concern, you know. So <laughs> We, the most important thing is just um, do good it for them, follow their advice, and respect them. Yeah, that is the best thing for us. If we don't do that, like I said here, even though we bring the heavenly heavenly water from the heaven and to bed them, their heart is still not cold, you know, it's still hot inside. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of worry for their children and disciples and so on. So here in my conclusion, I um, um, with regard to the man, laymen, and laywomen who are encouraged to do good deeds, they need to contribute the full support of uh, the four requisites. Four requisites in Pali we call Chattu Pachaya, or we call in Khmer language Pachai Buon. Okay. The four requisites, yeah. 
and also um, we need to offer robes, clothes, food, shelter, and medicine. Yeah, and they also encourage us urge to study the Dhamma and the discipline and avoid inflicting violence and provoking any argument with monks. So you know, most people in yeah. uh, some monastery or temple, you know, when they hate monk, they like to <laughs> to quarrel with the monk or um, they they shoot with the monk like that, and they disrespect them. They um, um, make a lot of problem with the monk, so they they respect the monk. So okay. this kind of disciple or lay people is not good according to the thing. Even though they take any water to bathe the man, but their minds are not good. They still <laughs> dislike the man and um, provoke a lot of problem and they respect the man. So it nothing, yeah, nothing is important for them. It's useless. Okay. Yeah. And also for bathing the Buddha statue, spreadings and maintaining the existence of Buddha's dispensation is to keep the real meaning of bathing to the Buddha statue. Yeah, the real meaning of bad thing is to follow the teaching of the Buddha, to respect the Buddhist monk and the Buddha, and also follow advice of our parents and respect them. That is a real bad thing meaning. Yeah, thank okay, you. thank you very much for that uh, summarize and uh, detailed explanations about the bad thing, uh, Buddha status, or um, the monks and our uh, parents and all. Uh, and our uh, our ancestor. So um, now I I can summarize about about our three day in the New Year celebration. That the first day we welcome the new angels and we uh, schedule like um, coming to the temple, offering food to the monk, and also listening the very chanting like uh, protection uh, recitation or hymns or we uh, we. As whenever Chumbi Chet mentioned, mentioned about uh, Pang Sukola or Pindapata or <laughs> something, so uh, it is it is a critical uh, critical um, term also we have to discuss, but we don't have much time right now. And also, uh, venerable Mangla Jyotar added about how to uh, people will observe vibration or listening the Dhamma talk delivered by Buddhist monk uh, and and so on. So this is also the very critical term that we will um, explain or discussing all the and also we have a, 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 a traditional uh, gameplay, traditional game that we play, represent many things, represent the, our society and prosperity of our country, culture, tradition, and we bathing and we, we build up the, the, the same mount the same mount uh, as mentioned by Venerable Simbuti, it's like uh, it is represent the, the 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 shrine in the heaven that um, yeah that uh, placed the Buddha yeah, Buddha's born that um, Buddha born that we are respected especially the the deva or deity in the second uh, heavenly world. So, adding to the question, Venerable Dhamma uh, Dhamma Tero, <laughs> about. Uh, about blessing, so we we talk much about blessing this, during this three day blessing from mom, blessing from the angel, blessing from the Buddha status, wedding, and blessing from the old people. So, what 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 does it mean blessing in uh, our term of uh, Buddhism? So Buddhism can can bless to other Buddhist people can bless to other and other people can get blessing from other and it is successful or whatever they bless or what. So can can you explain what does the term blessing meaning in the, our Buddhist perspective and traditional? To me, uh, blessing uh, encourage, yeah, encourage people who uh, uh, did a good did, yeah, did a good did um, and uh, like uh, show, uh, um, I mean, uh, if we bless them, but they they don't follow the Buddha teaching, 
and that they don't follow the Buddhist monk advice with a good way to to do, good way to practice for daily lives. So the blessing is could not get it, could not come up to them. Okay. Yeah, the blessing is come up with the real reality, daily activities, and just good advice. Go to uh, yeah, go to encourage and um, group them. Uh, this is the good. Uh, you are, have done good thing like. Uh, they open their mind, they share their uh, thing from their belief, they, 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 they offer and support uh, Buddhist man, support Buddhist temple, support their community, they share what they have to others. Good. Thank you very much. So, um, blessing, it is for those who do a good deed. It's those who are not doing good it even though um, uh, they go to um, get blessing from monk from uh, ancestor so they will not they will not uh, uh, they will not have that blessing right so venerable monk let you that you have two minutes um, what is the so what is the real mean the real meaning and the real blessing will be actually um the real blessings um, according to Buddhism yeah, is to do good deed, you know. When we do good deed, that good deed is our blessing, you know. Yeah. Like Ben we just, just now said that uh, blessing just encourages people to do good deed. But the real meaning of blessing is from the good deed, not from the people who give them, you know. So <laughs> our good deed is really our blessing, our refuge, in our life, yeah, you should not go to get blessing from other, but from our good deed. Yeah, thank so, you. So why why people still uh, still keep going uh, asking blessing like water blessing or asking the um, the 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 hand scarf something like that yeah. for blessing? So, uh, so why people keep going? Just they are traditional Buddhists, but if the people who understand the teaching of the Buddha deeply, they will abandon that kind of belief, you know. <laughs> they don't want to get blessing from anyone, but they try to do their best from their good deeds and to get uh, like a um, blessing from their lives or their good deeds like that. But for those who do not understand the teaching of the Buddha deeply, they believe that kind of thing, yeah. Really, anywhere is like that. <laughs> so, so that is that. That means if they know, if they understand, if, if they understand the Buddha's teaching, they will not go to get blessing. So uh, they will abandon the temple. They live, they stay in the um, in their home or what? Uh, they believe that uh, the monk resides like Jayanta or other pre consider as a kind of blessing for them. But actually, but actually, you know, when uh, there will be blessed, it means the audience will be blessed by prayer chanting only when they understand the meaning of the prayer chanting and practice or put into their... <laughs> Even though they go to listen to many prayer chanting, but they get not uh, they they could, could not get any blessing from the chanting of the monk like that. Now first we need to listen to the printed chanting, and then we understand the meaning of that chanting. We put that uh, what we have learned into our practice in our daily lives. Then we will be blessed by those things. <laughs> Thank you very much. So. Uh, one minute for Venerable Dharma Chuta. Um, uh, what is the powers of Piri chanting? The, like we recite the Paritta and we bless the people with the recitation of like uh, Ratana Paritta or Karaniya Metta Paritta, something. So, can you mention just brief? What, uh, can you indicate the power? What is the powers of that Paritta? If, if you can, it's not no need to answer it. <laughs> yeah, please. 
Yo me debo tan, tan, tan matero. Um, uh, I just wanna, I don't, uh, I just want to add up with the, the blessing and the chanting uh, because uh, uh, the Buddha teaching all uh, the, the, uh, the true, the true um, and the reality of the, of the nature. So the, the most chanting, the most blessing and the most uh, Buddha teaching he taught and he spread out the reality of the uh, of the the world of the situation. Um, what we uh, we encourage, uh, what we uh, promote, uh, just fulfill the uh, uh, people uh, feeling, fulfill the people mind uh, that uh, they are looking for their. They are need to uh, to com comfort their mind, comfort their life living. They are need to uh, help. That's why they seek and find out out of uh, source to uh, to to make them to help them better way to living on. Um, we cannot uh, in the Buddha teaching uh, Buddhist monk. We cannot give them we had a good luck. If we can do that, so every, every uh, good, uh, we, 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 if we can, we can, uh, we can offer them, we can give it, giving them, uh, give them uh, the, those, like I said, uh, so nobody uh, suffering, even the Buddha. If Buddha can help them go to bad luck, Buddha never, uh, never give them, never let them uh, suffering. But Buddha just taught and just left, has, uh, left over his teaching with the real reality, the truth of the problem, the truth of uh, things uh, existing uh, around the world, existing around us, where we live with. So uh, not just Buddhist man, even the Buddha, he cannot give that. Buddha never give that. Just show and give the, the, the exact or the reality of the things. Okay, thank, thank, thank you very much. So, um, um, it is very, very critical. So, <laughs> uh, thank, thank you for that. Uh, Venerable Mangla Jyota, um, can Parita chanting or approaching to the monk heal a problem like depression or um, anxiety or yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, according to uh, uh, psychological um, or psychology, yeah. yeah, the product chanting can um, cure some kind of stress or depression of some people, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when they hear the product, the chanting, it make confident, uh, it make confidence in their mind that oh, this brother chanting can help me to free from my bad luck or misfortune like that. Yeah, just to give them confidence. When they might have confidence, you know, they will be dispelled of the. Um, like bad feelings or stress or depression yeah. in their minds. So it seems important thing to chant the Preta, but a kind of chanting is not a blessing, you know? It's not a blessing at all. <laughs> chanting is just recite the teaching of the Buddha, the sacred word of the Buddha, which contains very meaningful words in there and meaningful advice in that chanting you know <laughs> like Jayanto, you know the, the tamba called Jayanto. once phrases it mentioned that if anyone do good deeds or whenever anyone does good deeds that time is called good time that time is called a good moment that time is a 
the good morning for them. And that time is a good day for them. So whenever they do good deeds, that day is a good for them. It's blessing day for them. Yeah. That is yeah, very meaningful words for the advices of the Buddha. When we understand that, it will be okay for our life. Thank you. Thank you very much, Venerable, uh, the uh, board and Venerable that uh, give us uh, the valuable time to discuss about the Khmer New Year. Um, and this, this final question that we discuss about spirit and blessing, so it's very meaningful, as you mentioned. Actually, Buddha or the monk or all people cannot bless you, cannot give you luck, but the way you practice, the way you approach approach them is the merit is the blessing because when you approach with confidence you respect to the monk you respect to the buddha you respect to your parent you respect to uh, your grandparent or or the old people it is your blessing it is your merit that you 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 are come uh, uh, that you accumulate so this blessing will protect you will give you luck for all the day and all all the time you are living if you keeping doing good state of all the time so this is how the Buddha explain and tell um, the people to be uh, confident, like Sadha that we mentioned about the first day of, of the New Year, uh, Angel. Yeah, the Sadha confident. When we have confidence, we approach. When we approach, we respect. And the, the quality we respect, the monk will consult and advise or give some advice to the to those people when we get some discourses we learn we practice we will realize realize and we realize we will get rid of all suffering this is the power uh, of uh, sadha confident approaching and listening uh, listening to uh, to the monk of parita parita chanting is very meaningful and very important in uh, in another meaning the power of parita mentioned by the Buddha is there are four power of Pirita, like uh, Pirita, the monk reside with loving kindness. It can also, the Meta Pavana, Meta uh, loving kindness uh, um, uh, for war to uh, living beings. So it, it is also powerful, the powerful by sound when the monk reside um, correctly by the, the, the language, the Pali language, the sound also will cover all the entire entire uh, audiences that listening. So the, the, the minds of the audience will be cut down because of listening, because of hearing the sounds of Pirita chanting. And also the powers of Pirita by meaning that the meaning of the Buddha's teaching is a reality. It's the meaningful that cannot reject it. And it is truth. The, 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 the fourth one is truth, cannot reject it. When the Buddha said, it cannot reject it, it is true in the world. So this is the powers of Parita. So thank you again for your um, valuable time. So let me uh, read a little, uh, may, may we, we may have question here. So I see just only one question. So no, not, not question at all. <laughs> just uh, they want to have the Buddhist school in the United States and um, the second one, just only, yeah, just only mentioned about how to do good deeds. So I, I can answer the question like uh, we want to have a Buddhist school. The Buddhist school also have every temple that you can go and learn if you want. But the specifically, academically, we have a uh, school, the Buddhist education only in the university, like Harvard University, like Berkeley University, like Arizona State University, like um, uh, Madison, the Wisconsin University, and uh, um, UC University of Los Angeles, California. It is, uh, there are lots of Buddhist uh, term, Buddhist text and Buddhist education in university. And there is one, uh, Buddhist University, we call Dhammarium Buddhist University in Hukai, uh, California State. They teach the Buddhist canon, Tripitaka, both Mahayana and, and, and Theravada, and established since 1976. 
even though our great scholar, Dr. Venerable Dr. Dam, uh, K. Sri Damanada also graduated from that Buddh uh, Damarian Buddhist University. And also we have college in the Berkeley, Berkeley, uh, yeah, Berkeley, California. We have Dhamma College that you can learn now. Also, you can go to dhammacollege.org. You can find the class online, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, learning from, from this tent with Venerable, Venerable Biko Bhuti about meditation, about the uh, Four Noble Truth, and about many things. The Buddha Sutra in the Dharma College. You can go to uh, the Dharma College page and you can, log, uh, you can log in and you can register class online or virtually after COVID. So thank you very much for that. Um, now uh, the time is run out. So uh, again, thank you very much for the uh, most wonderful that you will lose all time to uh, discuss our New Year celebrations. And also, thank you very much for our audiences, Venerable Mahasanga, and all the people who are listening and enjoying with our program. So um, stay safe, and I would like to say early Cam uh, happy Cambodian New Year. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy New Year to everybody. Thank yes. you.